Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about how to change the axis limits of a matplotlib figure. Let's take a look. So to get started coding, I'll import the PyPlot module as well as NumPy, and then I'm just gonna create some X and Y data for plotting purposes. So let's say I've plotted my X and Y data. How can I now change the limits of my X axis? Well, I first reference the PyPlot module and then call up this xlim function. So this takes two numbers. The first number zero will be the bound on the left and the second number five will be the bound on the right. And once I go ahead and hit enter, you'll see that indeed my x axis limits have changed. Of course, we can do the same thing for the y limits. Here we just reference the ylim function and then pass in our two numbers, zero for the bottom and then 20 for the top. And of course, these two can be used in conjunction with each other. So if you want to change both the x and y limits, just continue writing code until you're ready to show the figure. Now both the x and y axes have been updated. Something that comes up more often than you might expect is that you may want to adjust only one of these limits. So let's say that you are doing a plot where you definitely want that y axis to range from zero, but you don't actually want to change what the upper limit of the y axis is. So what you can do is now write zero for the first argument and none for the second argument. This tells matplotlib that you do want to change the bottom limit, but you don't want to change the top limit. Another way that you could accomplish this is again with that ylim function, it will accept an argument called bottom. So if you change bottom to be zero, but don't supply anything for the top, then matplotlib will only change that bottom limit. And just note that you can also use top in the ylim function, as well as left and right in the xlim function. So far, we've talked about how to change the limits by referencing the pyplot functions. However, you can also do this by accessing methods of the axes themselves. So let's try that as well. An alternative way to change these limits is through the axes methods. So first we need to actually get an instance of our current axes. So we use PyPlot's GCA function to do this. That stands for get current axes. So now we have ax and we can actually just now use this set underscore x limb method of the axes. And again, we can pass in zero and five to change our x limits. Of course, it also has a set y limb method. Here I'm passing in that we're changing the bottom limit to zero, but not changing the top limit. So this variable ax that we extracted with that get current axes function is just an axes subplot object. So this brings us to one important place where you may want to use this axes method route instead of the xlim ylim functions. So let's say that you had subplots like these where you've got three different subplots. Um, if you do use just the xlim and ylim functions, what you're actually going to be doing is changing only the limits of the last figure in your subplots. So this only changes the limits of that final third figure. If I wanted to change something like the limits of the second figure, what I could do instead is actually capture the axis object from the subplot itself, and then use this set x limb, set y limb later on. So this is a nice option. If you do want to change those limits at some point later on, you could actually just save the axes first and then set them later. So this originally was going to be the end of this video, but as I was researching axes limits, I learned something new. While researching, I found that you can actually reverse your axes if you'd like. So let's say that I wanted to, instead of plotting one to four, I actually wanted to completely flip this X axis. What I could do is now change my X limits from four to one. This will just completely reverse my data, making four the left bound and one the right bound. So this could be really useful if, for example, you had the number of years prior to today or something like that where your larger values actually come historically first. This could be a really interesting option for something like that. But let's say that you didn't know what those bounds should be. You could actually extract the left and right bounds from the xlim function. You could then just swap those to be right and then left to completely reverse your x axis. 
So thanks so much for joining me. All the code I demoed is available on my GitHub page. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment below or check out some of my past Matplotlib content. <laughs>